Fernella Simons again this morning coming to you with uh, my devotion from yesterday. Is it really worth it? And this is part two. Our salvation is all about the love of God and how he loves and wants us, his children back in relationship with him. It's about him doing whatever it took to give his creation a chance, if desired, to come home to him. It's about glorifying God. It's about an eternal life, not a temporary one. Is the tests and trials of this life worth it? Yes, they are. If they weren't, Satan would be not be trying so hard to do his thing. Although Job questioned the benefit of serving God, he still refused to turn his back on God. He, like many of us at times, has felt the wicked or the evil ones were receiving the better end of the deal. It looked as if we, God's children, were having all the hardships and the wicked ones were prospering, living the good life. This is what the enemy, Satan, wants us to believe. So we will turn our back, go back to the old living, living the old way. So Job did not understand that the hardships he was facing were premeditated and directed especially at him by Satan. He did not understand that those hardships had a mission and a purpose to fulfill set by Satan. He didn't understand that those hardships were aimed at his relationship with God. Oh, no. But there came a time when Job was able to separate his relationship with God from his circumstances, something all of God's children need to learn to do. Why? Because no matter what our circumstances and situations are, God is still God. He always has been. He always will be. He is the same God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Elijah, Elijah, David, Peter, John, and Paul, just to name a few. Our situations don't speak less of, what, of who God is. There are many of God's children who don't understand that godly life will bring about tests and trials simply because of our relationship with the Father. Just as a godless life will bring tests and trials because of lack of relationship with the Father. The difference being one is used to draw us to God and the other is used to draw us from God. There is a place in all of our spiritual walks that we as the children of the living God must come to. That is a place of understanding that hearing about God is not enough, but seeing God with the spiritual eye is where we all must be. This is what Job said when he reached that place. In Job 42 and 5, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye hath seen, seeth thee. We look at comparison that will bring our own sufferings into right perspective and see the reason it will be worth it all to serve Jesus. And it will be worth it all. Many of us face trials and temptation that sometimes seem overwhelming. God doesn't want our vision to grow dim lest we yield to temporary desires. I want us to look at why, why it will be worth it all to surrender worldly goals and monetary gain in order to serve the kingdom of God. What can we do to help bring our suffering into proper perspective? Comparing our troubles to others. There was once an oyster, whose story I tell, who found that sand had gotten under his shell, just one little grain, but it gave him much pain. For oysters have feelings, although they're so plain. Now, did he berate the working of fate, which had led him to such a deplorable state? Did he curse out? the government call for an election no as he lay on the shelf he said to himself if I cannot remove it I'll try to improve it so the years rolled by 
as the years always do. And he came to his ultimate destiny, to the stew. And the small grain of sand which had bothered him so was a beautiful pearl, all richly aglow. Now this tale has a moral for, isn't it grand? What an oyster can do with a morsel of sand. What couldn't we do if we only begin with all the things that get under our skin? Well, I want to thank the Lord that all these trials and tests will be worth it one day. And it is really worth it. And if you don't know the Lord, you need to. You need to really search out the Lord for your life and your family. I pray that God will be with you today and you will see that he is God and he is the one that reigns. Pray that your life will be ready to meet him when he comes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.